Okay, let's go with this tutorial. So you've got a bunch of MP4 files on your computer. You can actually utilize these and you can use these as splash screen or intro videos for Retrobat. And it's very simple to install these, to put them into the right places. So rather than having the generic opening screens intro videos, let's customize this for you. So we're just gonna head over to your Retrobat installation folder. And what we're looking for is emulation station folder. If we go inside here and if we find the dot emulation station folder again once you're inside here we're going to go to the video folder and this is where your intro videos are stored so i've created my own intro video for this tutorial and i'm just calling this just jamie.mp4 now just be sure to name your video file or it needs to be in mp4 format for this to work it won't accept anything else as of yet so once you've got your mp4 you just drag it into your video folder okay so let's back out of this and i'm next going to be looking for the retrobat gui which is located on the root of your retrobat installation directory and here it is, so BAT GUI and brings up a little window and the one you're looking for for this is RetroBAT INI. If we open this, we got options here for splash screen so we can play video intro or we can disable that. So for example, if I disabled it and saved it, you won't get any splash screen or intro screen whatsoever. It will just be a black screen and it will boot you straight into the front end. So I'm going to leave this checked as play video intro. Now your next part of this is to actually locate your MP4 that you just dragged into that videos folder. So to do this, I'm going to just go to file name and I'm going to click on these little dots here to open up a directory. And I'm gonna select from here my Just Jamie MP4, which I've just dragged into that folder. And from here, we can save and run Retrobat. And before I do that, you can even change the length of the video. So for example, if you've got a 10 minute video and you only want to play a couple of minutes, it's just a case of altering this here. But let's just go ahead and save and run Retrobat and see if this has worked. So that's it. That's how you add your own intro video or splash screen as they're sometimes called in Retrobat. So be sure to subscribe and be also sure to hit the notifications. I think there's a lot of subscribers out there who aren't getting these because you're not doing that. So if you want more of these videos, just hit notifications. I've got plenty more of these coming up. So until next time, take care.